Hello, business analytics superstars, and welcome to chapter 18, cluster analysis. Imagine you're at a party. Some people are huddled together, uh, chatting about technology. Others are reminiscing about the days of cassette tapes and vinyl records for those old enough to remember them. Uh, without knowing anyone beforehand, uh, you could likely group them based on their interests, preferences, or possibly even age. In the world of data, cluster analysis does something similar. It seeks to find natural groupings or clusters within a data set based on a set of observed characteristics, helping us understand and ultimately to profile uh, different customer segments, markets, or even product categories. Cluster analysis can be a powerful tool for business researchers to identify patterns within large data sets. For example, uh, digital natives, so millennials, Gen Z, etc., and digital immigrants, Gen X and the baby boomers, can be seen as distinct clusters based on their technology use. But the beauty of clustering is that it's not restricted to predefined categories. It lets the data effectively speak for itself, revealing naturally occurring groups we might not have noticed previously. Clusters help us simplify complexity by grouping similar items together. Think of it uh, like organizing a messy room into neat piles. So whether it's customers with similar buying behaviors, companies with similar financial profiles, or products with similar characteristics, clustering helps us make sense of large chaotic data sets. Cluster analysis serves two main purposes. Data reduction, instead of dealing with thousands of data points, clustering helps us summarize them into a few key groups. Also, summarization. We can better understand the big picture by focusing on groups that share similar characteristics rather than analyzing each individual item. The goal is to discover clusters in data without prior knowledge of the groups. Hierarchical clustering is like a tree-like process. It starts with each observation in its own cluster, then successively uh, merges the most similar pairs of clusters until all observations are in one large cluster. It's great for small data sets and helps visualize the structure of the data. Whereas non-hierarchical clustering is more commonly used with large data sets. Uh, techniques like k-means clustering uh, assign each observation to a cluster, and then the algorithm iterates to refine these assignments. Now, there's no perfect answer to choosing the number of clusters. However, uh, the chapter does outline methods that can help determine how many clusters make sense. The idea is to find a, a balance between not having uh, too few clusters, uh, which uh, oversimplifies the data, versus having too many clusters, uh, which can make uh, interpretation somewhat difficult. Once clusters are identified, we then need to profile them to understand what makes each one unique. For instance, a, a company uh, might find that one cluster of customers tends to buy high-end products, while another looks for discounts. Uh, by profiling these clusters, we can then better tailor strategies for marketing, uh, product development, or customer service. Now, after conducting cluster analysis, it's then essential to make sense of the groupings you've discovered. And here's where the fun begins, uh, profiling your clusters based on key characteristics. Um, demographically, you know, who are these people? Uh, their ages, genders, education level, income. Behaviorally, uh, what do they do? Uh, their buying habits, online activity, brand loyalty. Attitudinally, how do they think? Their values, opinions, lifestyle preferences. So cluster analysis helps businesses uh, create targeted marketing strategies by addressing uh, the unique needs of each customer segment. For instance, uh, a retailer uh, might de uh, develop one marketing campaign for a cluster of price-sensitive shoppers and a different one for brand-loyal customers. Hence, understanding uh, clusters of customers with similar purchasing habits uh, helps uh, businesses to uh, optimize uh, product recommendations and promotions. Uh, in financial services, clusters of customers with similar risk profiles might guide lending or investment strategies. As with factor analysis, uh, we will use SPSS to crunch the numbers, uh, focusing on the interpretation of output. 
So cluster analysis takes the chaos of complex data sets and organizes it into neat, actionable insights. Whether you're trying to discover customer segments, uh, optimize marketing strategies, or uh, explore patterns in data, clustering uh, is a powerful tool to simplify the world around us. So dive in, group your data, and unlock hidden insights. So superstars, are you ready? I hope you are very much in the yes cluster.